everyone, my name is Sarah Vert, and today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about Lar Gibbons. The Lar Gibbon is also known as the white-handed gibbon, or by its scientific name, Hylobates Lar. There are five proposed subspecies of Lar Gibbon as well, although there are only mild physical distinctions between these subspecies. Consequently, some experts call for the redefining of these differences, as they are almost exclusively defined by their location. Lar gibbons have an incredibly unique anatomy. They are brachiators, meaning they travel by swinging through trees, and as a result, they have very long arms with long dexterous fingers and hands. They also have relatively short legs, especially in comparison to their arms. Like other apes, they do not have a tail. They do, however, have seat pads, which allow them to sit on branches easily. As their common name implies, white-handed gibbons have white fur on their hands, feet, and around their faces. Their fur color varies between black and varying shades of brown, and there is no color dimorphism between sexes. In fact, there is very little obvious dimorphism beyond males being slightly larger. These gibbons are found in Southeast Asia. One subspecies, the Yunnan flar gibbon, was found as far north as southeastern China. However, this subspecies is thought to be extinct. White-handed gibbons live in a variety of forests, including dipterocarp forests, pictured here, which are especially hospitable to gibbons due to the large canopies present in these types of forests. Other rainforests and lowland forests are also acceptable for gibbons due to the variety of tree life and abundance of fruits. As noted by the Conservation Society of California, lar gibbons' home ranges are, very, are relatively small, averaging about 0.15 miles. Lar gibbons are known to communicate with other gibbons who may have territory that overlaps with their own home range. Lar gibbons are diurnal, and though they often sleep before dusk, meaning that they are not active for a large portion of the day. Their activities primarily include foraging and grooming. They also spend a portion of their day vocalizing both to members of their group and members of neighboring groups as a mark of territory. This is often described as singing and is integral to the lives of lar gibbons. All species of gibbons, lar gibbons are almost exclusively brachiators. They spend a majority of their time either swinging from branches or suspended by their arms in treetops. However, the seat pads they have also allows for easy s sitting and sleeping on branches. Lar gibbons are primarily frugivores. They spe are specific about the fruit they eat and spend a good amount of time discerning which fruits to eat. They also eat flowers, leaves, and occasionally eggs or insects. Lar gibbons are also recorded sharing food with each other. Gibbons form small family groups of two parent gibbons and several offspring, which remain with the group until they reach sexual maturity and leave to create other family groups. Lar gibbons are monogamous and will remain with one mating partner for life often. Through singing and other vocalizations, gibbons will communicate both within their group and with other nearby gibbons who may be in overlapping territories. This species is primarily monogamous, however, some polyandry has been recorded in specimens with larger home ranges. As noted by the Michigan Museum of Zoology, female gibbons often care for young almost exclusively and on average have one child every 3.5 years. Lar gibbons are endangered. Like many other species of gibbons, they are subject to hunting, the illegal exotic pet trade, and the massive loss of biodiversity due to palm oil production. The most common predator of the lar gibbon is human hunting, although they may also be hunted by eagles, snakes, and large cats such as leopards. Thank you all so much for listening. For more information on the lar gibbon, you can visit any of these sources. Once again, thank you and stay safe, everyone.